Dillinger Labs Danny is a Ska Pro transmitter that can accept almost any analog audio signal, from mixers, DJ decks, and audio interfaces to consumer devices like phones, tablets, and computers. It's able to do this because it has a switch that allows you to flip between plus four dBU and negative 10 dBV. Every time we demonstrate Danny on the channel, we always say use plus four with TRS connectors carrying balanced audio and use negative 10 with TS connectors carrying unbalanced audio. Now the numbers plus four and negative 10 are just reference values that tell Danny what level of audio signal you'll be feeding it. But what's more important to understand is the difference between balanced and unbalanced audio signals and how TRS and TS connectors carry these signals. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve. The tip carries the positive signal, the ring carries the inverted negative signal, and the sleeve is the ground. When they hit Danny's input, the negative is flipped and the noise is canceled out. That's what makes it a balanced signal. You get cleaner audio signals, which is ideal for long cable runs. Pro audio gear like mixers and audio interfaces typically output balanced audio. If your gear has XLR outputs, just use an XLR to TRS adapter cable. XLR is also balanced and is basically interchangeable with TRS. TS stands for tip sleeve, just two points of contact, signal and ground. No negative signal means it's unbalanced and more prone to noise on long cable runs. Most guitars, basses, and keyboards and consumer gear use unbalanced audio outputs. One important note though, guitar and bass amplifiers and speaker amplifiers often use TS speaker cables. Never connect an amplified output to Danny's input. This can fry Danny's electronics and can also damage your amplifier. DJ decks often use RCA outputs, which are also unbalanced. You can connect RCA to Danny using an RCA to TS cable. And if you want to connect the headphone output on a laptop, tablet, or phone, you can use a 3.5 millimeter stereo to dual TS Y cable. One small detail here though, a stereo 3.5 millimeter connector is technically TRS, but in this case, it's carrying two channels, left and right, not a balanced signal. So once again, the basic rule of thumb here is if you see a TRS connector, it's probably a balanced audio signal and you want to use plus four dBU. If you see a TS connector, it's probably unbalanced and you want to use negative 10 dBV. So that's how Danny can work with just about any type of audio signal. If you want to learn more about this pro audio transmitter, head over to skastore.com.